Hello and welcome to this Air Magnet Spectrum XT tutorial video on determining the impact of interferers. We've already gone over in previous video how to see an interferer and look at its basic details. Today we're going to look at a scenario where I have multiple interferers in my environment and I want to understand the impact of each, which I should start dealing with first and which one may be of lower priority. Right now I have two devices going on. I have a digital video monitor as well as a Zigbee device. I can see those over here in my interferes window on the left hand side. If I look at my spectrogram, I can already start to guess where those devices are. I can see a high energy band sitting right between channels 4 and 5. I can see another high energy band sitting right between channels 12 and 13. Now, just from looking at that, I can already start to guess that I'm going to have impact on my Wi-Fi channels. But exactly what channels and how big of an impact, it's hard to tell from the spectrogram. So I'm going to take a look at my non-Wi-Fi interference window. By looking at the non-Wi-Fi interference window, I can see my Zigbee device in my monitor. The first thing I want to look at is what the peak power is for each. By looking at this, I can see the Zigbee radio is being received a lot stronger where I am than the digital video monitor. As such, that's already going to make it a bit more interesting to me because it's going to interfere more with devices in this area. Another thing to look at is the last seen channel and the affected channels. The Zigbee device is on channel 5. It's going to be affecting channels 3 through 7, but most directly it's going to be impacting one of my key 2.4 channels, channel 6. If I look over at my devices, I have 26 access points that I can hear from here on channel 6, along with 5 stations. So there's a very good chance that this Zigbee device is going to have an impact on a large section of my network. If I look at the digital video monitor, its power is lower than the Zigbee device. In addition, its affected channels is 11 through 14. So it is impacting channel 11. However, if I go and take a look at how many APs in this area are on channel 11, there's only 16. So right now, if I'm going to prioritize, I'm going to go ahead and deal with my Zigbee device first. Scrolling across, I can start to take a look at the duty cycle for these devices. Right now, the duty cycle for my Zigbee device is also much higher than my baby monitor. That's also concerning because the higher the duty cycle for a device, the more often it is in conflict in utilizing the channel. So, based on what I can see, I'm going to prioritize the Zigbee device. I'm going to try and track that one down and have it removed from the system. First and foremost, because it has higher transmit power. It's affecting one of my most heavily populated channels with channel 6 and also has a higher duty cycle, meaning that it's transmitting a lot more often and utilizing my channel a lot more often than the video monitor is. For all these reasons, I'm going to focus on the Zigbee monitor. Thank you for watching this tutorial and thank you for choosing Air Magnet Spectrum XT. Thank you.